Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg McCloskey. Today's date is September 30th, 2022. That means it's the month end. It's also the quarter end. It's also a Friday. And those two things can cause the markets to be in flux. Uh, we could have uh, lots of uh, uh, volatile price action. Why? Because uh, it tends to be a quarter end, month end, Friday type of uh, rebalancing from uh, both traders and corporations and so on and so forth that uh, require the flow of funds to dominate the trading action here today. So be aware, be prepared. Let's talk about some of the technicals that may be driving the market in trading here today. We'll start off by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar. And please take into consideration that idea that it's month end, Friday and quarter end uh, because uh, the technicals may actually not play a huge or a usual role that it does in our trading. Um, I have less confidence in, in them on these types of days. So you have to tread lightly, um, pick your spots and understand that uh, it is the flow of funds, uh, not necessarily traders who are defining risk, limiting risk against key technical levels that may define uh, your trading fortunes or not fortunes here today. So um, anyway, but uh, nevertheless, we're, we're still focused on the technicals because they often tell a story and can lead to further momentum moves, uh, moves in the directions of the breaks. So we'll start by taking a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar and trading yesterday. We moved above the 200 hour moving average for the first time since September 20th here. Uh, that uh, prompted a move back toward the 50 percent retracement uh, of the move uh, down from the uh, high price uh, back here on uh, September 12th uh, to the low price that we, see, we reached this week. Uh, the low price uh, took out the uh, low from Monday's uh, trade on Wednesday, uh, but only by a few pips and that started the rotation to the upside. That move to the upside got the uh, price back above the 100 hour moving average. And although the price moved below the 100 hour moving average and trading, trading yesterday on the Asian and early European session decline, uh, the uh, buyers came in and pushed the price back to the upside, getting above the 200-hour moving average in the process. That's the green line in this chart. And closing above that level for the first time since, well, I guess way back here. Here, um, uh, even, you know, this 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 first close above that 200-hour moving average. You didn't have a close above it here. Didn't have a close above it. Didn't have a close above it here. Um, so, so anyway, that... that um, it's been a while since the price closed above the 200 hour moving average, but we did find resistance against the 50% retracement of that move. Uh, that's uh, right, uh, right here. And um, uh, the market uh, started to rotate back to the downside in the early U.S. trade. We did move below the 200 hour moving average, tilting the bias more to the downside. But the price uh, did end up rebounding despite the fact that we had higher than expected PCE data this morning. Uh, couldn't go any lower. And so we saw the buyers push the price back up to the upside. It might be the flow of funds that may be doing that here today. Uh, if you can't sell, you got to buy. So uh, the 200 hour moving average at 0 0.9757 will still remain a barometer for the buyers and sellers in trading here today. Move below it, it would be more bearish. If we look to, uh, down toward the 100 hour moving average as the next support and perhaps this uh, swing area through here. Uh, on the uh, top side, uh, we're going to be watching the uh, up to uh, 0 0.9611 from about 0 0.96, 0 0.9, uh, so, sorry, 0 0.9811 uh, from 0 0.98056 to uh, 12 up here. Uh, that area right there will be a uh, level that we need to get and stay above once again if the uh, euro versus US dollar is going higher. For the dollar versus yen, not, not a lot of price action uh, in that uh, currency pair. Here's the hourly, hourly chart, and we started the week uh, way back here, right near the 100 and 200 hour moving averages in the price. Stayed above that level, uh, found support against it on Wednesday, tried to find a support against it yesterday um, and early today. Did break below it in the Asian session, sort of sideways our way through that level, uh, up and down price action here, sidewaysing through the, the moving average that caught up to the price. But we stayed above the 200 hour moving average at 143.96, uh, it looks like. and. Uh, and rotated back above the 100 hour moving average in the last few minutes of uh, trading as a result of the better than or higher than expected PCE data. 
We aren't uh, running to the upside. We know that there's resistance against the 145 level. That was the level where we had verbal intervention. And uh, when the price moved above it here, uh, the 145 level here, the Bank of Japan came in and pushed the price down for 500 pips. That's going to have traders reluctant to move above that 145 level. Uh, they'll be playing with fire on Monday if that be the case. And uh, so um, I would expect that that level uh, sort of hold, or does hold resistance on the top side in trading here today on the downside. Traders will uh, continue to watch the 200 hour moving average for short term clues. If it moves below that level from a technical perspective, the bias shifts a little bit more to the downside. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But the, those are the levels in play for the uh, dollar versus yen and the sterling versus U.S. dollar. What do we see here? Well, we see the uh, price action hold support against the 200 hour moving average. That's the green line in the chart. Also, this trend line here uh, found uh, was which was broken yesterday. We found support against it on the underside of the trend line through here. And it's near the 50% retracement as well. So this whole area through here is support for the sterling versus U.S. dollar. And we have seen a modest bounce to the upside after the PCI data couldn't push the price below that level. Uh, the uh, current level trades at 110.76 and uh, we'll need a break again below the uh, below the 200 hour moving average the uh, downward sloping trend line to increase the bearish bias here for the sterling versus US dollar once again on our high price that we saw in uh, trading uh, in the Asian session we came up to test this these lows through here and this high right here this was the uh, last time where the market found uh, created a little bit of a floor here before rotating quickly to the downside uh, here here and into uh, Monday's uh, trade. Uh, but uh, and so uh, when the price moved above that area here in the north in the European session, the uh, price couldn't sustain the momentum. The price moved to the downside, forcing buyers into sellers uh, and back down to the 200 hour moving average. So resistance above support below. We'll see how that uh, plays out for now. And uh, finally, uh, let's take a look at the Aussie versus uh, U.S. dollar uh, on the um, hourly chart. The uh, price has been waffling above and below its 100-hour moving average over the last one, two, three trading days. That moving average had been catching up to the price after the sharp move to the downside caused the or led the pair to the lowest levels in, since 2020 here at uh, 63, 63 level low for the week, and uh, we started a rebound, got above the 100, couldn't sustain it, and the market is waffling above and below that level. Uh, what is um, significant, I guess, on the top side is that this uh, swing area through here where we had a swing low and then swing highs and then another swing high and we came back up to it. So this area right here is reestablishing or establishing itself as a ceiling and the high price here today found sellers early against that level. Also, the low, uh, the falling 200-hour moving average is coming into play at 0 0.6545. Stay below that level is more more. Um, Keeps the bears more in control. We have to move above that level to increase the bullish bias in these uh, currency pair. Until then, the uh, sellers still remain in control in the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. On the downside, the 100-hour moving average in this old trend line it was broken uh, here in the um, you know off the PCE PC data, uh, but uh, could not sustain momentum and move back above it. So this level reestablishes itself as support for the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. So there you have it. Look at some of the major currency pairs. Again, be careful. It's month end, quarter end. It's Friday. All those things are going to cause some uh, havoc in the market uh, as the flow of funds dominate in trading. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.